A symbol of freedom and democracy, the Statue of Liberty stands tall in the New York Harbor, but where did her story begin? Our tale starts in the mid-19th century, in a world still grappling with the ideals of democracy and freedom. The United States, a young nation, had just celebrated 100 years of independence. Across the pond in France, a country steeped in its own struggles for liberty, the seeds of a remarkable gift were being sown. The man behind this grand idea was Édouard de Laboulaye, a French abolitionist and lawmaker. He admired America's resilience in the face of civil war and its commitment to the principles of liberty. Inspired by this, he proposed a monumental gift to honor America's centennial of independence, a symbol that would represent the enduring friendship between France and the United States. The task of bringing this vision to life fell upon the shoulders of an ambitious sculptor, Frederick Auguste Bartholdi. Bartholdi, known for his grand sculptures and an ardent believer in the virtues of liberty, was the perfect choice to create this symbol. He envisioned a colossal statue, a robed female figure representing Libertas, the Roman goddess of freedom. In her right hand she would hold aloft a torch, a beacon of light guiding the way to freedom. In her left, a tabula and sata, inscribed with the date of America's Declaration of Independence. Bartholdi's design was not just a physical embodiment of freedom, but also a symbol of enlightenment, hope, and the shared democratic ideals of the two nations. It was a testament to the enduring friendship between France and the United States, a friendship born out of shared struggles for liberty and democracy. The Statue of Liberty, a beacon of hope and liberty, was born out of an international friendship and shared ideals. The creation of the Statue of Liberty was no small feat, involving innovation, dedication, and a fair share of challenges. The brainchild of this majestic icon was none other than Frederick Auguste Bartholdi, a French sculptor who poured his heart and soul into every detail of the design. Bartholdi's vision was not just to create a grand statue, but to engineer a symbol that would stand the test of time. As Bartholdi set to work on his design, he had to think outside the box, innovating with materials and techniques. He chose to use thin sheets of copper for the statue's exterior. This was a bold choice, as copper was both lightweight and resistant to corrosion, but it also posed a challenge. How would these thin sheets hold the shape of such a grand design? Enter Alexander Gustav Eiffel, the engineer behind the Eiffel Tower, and a man known for his genius in working with metal. Eiffel proposed a daring solution, a steel framework to support the copper sheets. This internal structure was not only strong enough to hold the copper in place but it also allowed for the statue's immense height. The construction process was a monumental task. Each copper sheet was meticulously shaped and attached to the steel framework, creating a seamless blend of strength and beauty. The statue was built in pieces, with the various parts assembled in Bartholdi's workshop, before being disassembled for transport to America. This process required precision and care, but the result was worth every effort. The Statue of Liberty was not just a work of art, but a marvel of engineering. The innovative use of materials, the intricate internal structure, and the meticulous assembly process all contributed to the creation of this iconic symbol. It was a testament to human ingenuity, a monument built not just with hands, but with the minds and hearts of those who believed in its message. The Statue of Liberty, a marvel of engineering and artistry, stands as a testament to human ingenuity, the journey of the Statue of Liberty from France to the United States was an adventure in itself. Imagine a gigantic statue, a symbol of freedom and democracy, disassembled into 350 individual pieces. Each piece carefully packed into one of 214 wooden crates. This was the monumental task faced by the French as they prepared to send their grand gift across the Atlantic Ocean. The statue, a marvel of engineering, had been carefully designed by Frederick Auguste Bartholdi and Gustave Eiffel to be disassembled and reassembled. Each piece was meticulously labeled, ready for its journey to a new home. The disassembly process was a spectacle, attracting crowds who marveled at the sight of Liberty herself, taken apart piece by piece. Once packed, these crates were loaded onto the French frigate Isère. The voyage wasn't without its challenges. The Isere faced rough seas and narrowly escaped collision with another ship. Yet, after 27 days at sea, the ship and its precious cargo arrived in New York on June 17, 1885. The excitement in New York was palpable, but the statue couldn't be erected immediately. First, the pedestal had to be completed. While fundraising efforts continued, the crates containing the statue waited on Bedloe's Island, the site chosen for the statue. 
Finally, the day came to begin the assembly process. The statue was reassembled on the pedestal piece by piece in a process that took four months. The work was painstaking, but the result was a testament to the skill and dedication of those involved. The statue was installed facing east, greeting incoming ships with a beacon of hope and freedom. The statue, once a collection of bronze pieces and crates, now towered over New York Harbor. Lady Liberty with her torch held high stood as a symbol of friendship between nations, a beacon of freedom, and a testament to human ingenuity. The Statue of Liberty now standing tall on her new home, was ready to welcome millions. Over the years the Statue of Liberty has come to symbolize much more than just a gift from France. It has evolved into a beacon of hope, lighting the path for millions, seeking a new start on American soil. This transformation didn't happen overnight but rather, it was a gradual process that was deeply intertwined with the nation's history. In the late 19th and early 20th centuries, the statue was the first sight to greet countless immigrants as they journeyed across the Atlantic. For these weary travelers, Lady Liberty symbolized the promise of a new life, the embodiment of the American dream. The sight of her torch, held high in the sky, was a signal that they had finally arrived at a place where they could be free. This sentiment is beautifully encapsulated in the famous poem, The New Colossus, penned by Emma Lazarus. Inscribed on the statue's pedestal, the poem's powerful words resonate with the spirit of the statue. Give me your tired, your poor, your huddled masses yearning to breathe free. These words have echoed through the ages, a timeless reminder of the ideals that America strives to uphold but the statue's significance extends beyond its role as a welcoming symbol for immigrants. Throughout the tumultuous times of war and peace, the Statue of Liberty has remained a steadfast symbol of freedom and democracy. During World War II for instance she stood tall and resolute, a beacon of hope amidst the darkness, reminding the world of the values that the United States was fighting to protect. As we move forward, the Statue of Liberty continues to hold a special place in the hearts of people around the globe. Its symbolism evolves with each passing generation, reflecting the ever-changing ideals and aspirations of the American people. No matter the era, the statue remains a powerful symbol of freedom, democracy, and the enduring spirit of the American dream. The Statue of Liberty, a beacon of hope and freedom, continues to inspire millions around the world. Today, the Statue of Liberty stands not only as a symbol of freedom and democracy, but also a testament to the enduring friendship between France and the United States. This towering beacon of liberty, rising from the waters of New York Harbor, is more than just a colossal work of art. It holds a place of honor in the hearts of millions, embodying the very essence of the American dream. In the years since its unveiling in 1886, the Statue of Liberty has gained recognition far beyond its physical presence. In 1924, it was designated a national monument, solidifying its place in American history and ensuring its preservation for future generations. And the world recognized its universal value when, in 1984, UNESCO declared it a World Heritage Site, a distinction shared by other iconic landmarks such as the Great Wall of China, the Pyramids of Egypt, and the Taj Mahal. But the passage of time has not been without its challenges. The statue has weathered storms, both literal and figurative, and the elements have taken their toll. But through it all, the statue remains steadfast and resolute. Ongoing preservation efforts ensure that Lady Liberty continues to shine. These efforts include both routine maintenance and major restoration projects, all aimed at preserving the statue's structural integrity and aesthetic appeal. Copper, iron and steel. These materials may age but the spirit of liberty they embody is timeless. The Statue of Liberty then, is more than just a monument, it is a promise, a symbol of the ideals that have shaped this nation from its inception. It stands as a reminder of the struggles and triumphs of the past, and the hopes and dreams of the future. The Statue of Liberty, an enduring symbol of freedom and hope, continues to stand tall, welcoming all to the land of the free.